Okay, December 14th, kiln opening. I've only got uh, my stuff in half of this kiln and uh, a friend of mine's in the other half because her kiln broke right before Christmas. So sad. So, um, it'll be a short one. Let's get started. Okay, so on top is the peacock bowl. I keep trying with these, but they turn out a little different than I expect, I guess. Let's see here, look at the, like on that one. That one's pretty cool though. It's got a lot of crazy stuff and the stuff came out very even. Ooh, check that out. That is antique brass. From Mako on the outside. It's uh, changing colors because it's so cold out here with my uh, the heat of my hands. 47 degrees. Okay, so this is Amber Topaz base, dark flux for the scale patterns, dots of frosted lemon and raspberry mist. And then shipwreck the top coat and antique brass. And the antique brass, I did like three and a half coats because I heard there was you needed a lot to get a nice metallic finish. That's really nice. <clears throat> okay, here's a little crystal cluster. Uh, this is iron luster with dark flux and a little bit of oatmeal. Pretty. And then this is Cinnabar from Mako with um, sandstone on top of it. Those nice drips. Ooh. That looks like a real rock. Okay, and then, oh, this cup, which I made this really cool handle for. It's kind of like a twisted handle. And that is just two coats of pearl white all over. I kind of did a pattern there that it ran a tiny bit past the pattern, but not too much. It really shows off the uh, the texture there on the handle. It's pretty small though, small little guy. Okay, that's the top. This one is a handmade uh, citrus reamer that I made, and I was going for kind of a beachy look. This is Sand and Sea by Mako with some jujube along the bottom. It kind of really uh, overtook the Sand and Sea in a way, but it still looks pretty cool. And then here's another citrus reamer that I did in frosted lemon with Aurora Green over the top, both by Mako. Man, I really like that combo. I did it on a tree recently and well, knew I had to do it on something else. This has got a good citrusy kind of look to it. Okay, let's check out the cones. I did a different firing on this one. I set it 
<clears throat> because before I set it for cone six, I ended up getting a cone seven. So I set it for a cone five. And here I've gotten a perfect five. And then <clears throat> the six is just bent, not quite. And the seven's untouched. So <clears throat> it looks like a five, maybe just a tiny bit hotter than a five. Ooh, yeah. All right. This is a carved pitcher. I mean, a cast, excuse me, pitcher that I made. And get on the Honey Flux bandwagon because this is Honey Flux. Snow on the inside. Honey Flux two times on the outside, Amico. And then some lines of color. So I started with Mulberry. Celadon, and then uh, Snapdragon Celadon, and then Mako Frosted Lemon, which you can't really see the yellow of. I guess I should get a different yellow Celadon. And then, um, let's see, is it, <clears throat> is it Rainforest? Yeah, Rainforest, here's the green, and then Cobalt Celadon. And really nice drips. I kind of did it like as a, you know, diagonal lines for the celadons on top. And then I put a little bit of honey flux also on top because I wasn't sure what it was going to do. Yeah, gorgeous. <clears throat> I know this one's going to be stuck, so I'll do it last. Um, okay, here's a little picture that I carved. I um, it was like a tumbler mold. I poured it with black slip and then um, some marbled slip and then I poured it with white slip on the inside and then later I carved back through the black to get to the white. And then this is Spectrum's black on the inside. Just black it's called. Um, and then Georgie's clear on the outside, zinc free clear. So I'm kind of trying to find a good clear. I don't know, it's really hard to find one. Those ones I did last kiln opening with the uh, mixing clear didn't turn out that great. This is a little, um, you know, there's like micro bubbles in it that kind of make it look fuzzy. Like right there, you can see it. <clears throat> so, I'm trying to find a good clear glaze that really actually works. Oh, this one looks gorgeous. Really clear, really nice. This is a um, cast vase that I did um, some underglaze on. I can't remember the colors exactly now. A blue, a turquoise maybe, and white. Um, and then blue lagoon on the inside. So. That's really cute. That's really cute. No, that one's totally stuck. Oh, okay. This is... Just a test mug. I kind of think maybe the bottom's going to fall off at some point. Um, but yeah. Purple Crystal from Amico. Really nice. The crystals on the inside are mulberry with dark flux on the detail. And then the inside and the outside, um, Purple Crystal... And then light magma right in the middle. I kind of wanted to use this mug because I, I knew it wasn't going to, it doesn't have real integrity. Uh, you can kind of tell. But um, just use it as a test to see if I could get some cool rock textures. Man, look at that, huh? Some cool rock texture around it. Because I want to make a lot of these. They're really fun to make and pretty. Um, it was a cast mug and I kind of pushed a little 
with like a whoop right there. And then uh, added all the crystals right in the center. <clears throat> crystal really turned out good. Cone 5 apparently is um, gets you that purpley matte crystal look and then cone 6 maybe gets you more of a clear blue. This one totally stuck to the thing. I almost did a almost did a stilt on it but then I didn't. Oh look at the colors though. Dang. This is a cast mug also. So, iron yellow times two, um, iron luster times two, and then same as like the peacock color, like peacock pattern, you do like little scale patterns, and I did those in ancient jasper, and then the dots of running hot chowder from Spectrum. There's like almost like a rainbow like sheen on this one. But, I don't know. It's probably never going to come off. Whoa. So drippy. <clears throat> and then, that's it. And then the rest are another artist's work. So, mini kiln opening. Thanks for watching.